Let's do a problem, a little complicated. Greek mythology. We'll use what we've learned so far on ramp physics to see if we can come up with a solution. Sisyphus was a character in Greek mythology who was doomed in Hades to push a boulder to the, to the top of a steep mountain. When he reached the top, the boulder would slide back down the mountain and he would have to start all over again. Assuming that Sisyphus slides the boulder up the mountain without being able to roll it, even though in most versions of the myth he rolled it. A, first part, if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the boulder and the mountainside is 0 0.4, the mass of the boulder is 20 kilograms, and the slope of the mountain is a constant 30 degrees. What is the force that Sisyphus must exert on the boulder to move it up the mountain at a constant velocity? All right, let's review the Sisyphus problem again using a PowerPoint. That's the basic structure of ramp physics. That's the push-pull parallel with the ramp, normal perpendicular to the ramp, the weight perpendicular to the ground, the angle there is the same as the angle there, and then now given, 20 kilograms is the mass, some basic equations, the angle is 30 degrees, mu, the coefficient due to friction is 0.4. The weight of the the weight of the uh, of the boulder is going to be 200 newtons. The normal force is going to be 173. The push-pull force is 100. The the friction is going to be 69, and there you have it. Now, here are my values, again, that I calculated. Now, here is the, here is the mountain, 30 degrees. Oh, did you see that? Got to look, got to be careful. All right, that's 20, 20 kilograms. Now, the net force has to equal zero. That means that the Sisyphus force minus the sum of the push-pull force and the friction force, remember, those are the forces that are acting against Sisyphus. The natural tendency for the boulder to move down the hill and the frictional force that is also working against Sisyphus. Again, here's my, here are my values. And here is the mountain, 30 degrees. That's the boulder. Sisyphus, equal and opposite to FP plus FF. So F net equals zero, minimum requirements, boulder to move at constant motion. So that's the, that's the FF and FP working against Sisyphus in the other direction. So that total that way is 169, therefore he has to push 169, and there it goes. If Sisyphus pushes the boulder at a velocity of 0.25 meters per second, and it takes him eight hours to reach the top of the mountain, what is the mythical mountain's vertical height? That's going to be dy, the height of the mountain. That's going to be 30 degrees. That's going to be d hypotenuse, d sisyphus, equals vt which equals 0.25 meters per second times eight hours. Doing the dimensional analysis quickly comes out to be 7,200 meters. 
and then sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. That's opposite. That's hypotenuse. And it's going to be 3,600 meters. 7,200 meters times sine 30 equals 3,600.